Signal Health is a clinically integrated network. Uh, we're in Yakima, Washington. Yakima is a central part of the state of Washington. Our clinically integrated network is one of the major hospitals in Yakima, along with four of the major primary care centers of Yakima, and um, many specialty clinics. And what we're doing is we're building a network of providers who have common goals along with, with um, keeping a patient healthy along the entire care continuum. And in order to do that, it takes a lot of data. It's, it's, it's basically wrapping that patient in a data, data envelope and making sure that everybody that gets that patient is able to open the envelope. Signal Health uh, needed to find a solution for health information exchange between providers because in the Yakima region we have about upwards of 30 electronic medical records different systems and that patient's data could be in half of them or all of them and our goal to, is to strive so that if a patient is seen by one of our partners in our network that that patient's information will also be available to another partner in the network without everybody having to be on the same electronic medical record because that's oftentimes just not operationally fe feasible. These are different corporations, so making the same EMR decision is not going to often work. Some of the biggest challenges that um, organizations or enterprises face shifting from fee-for-service to the value-based environment is value-based requires very, very um, heavy data, a lot of it, and good quality data. And one of the problems in today's environments and in today's reality is that electronic medical record systems, the black boxes themselves, were not built to be population management managers. They were built as repositories for the patient care record. So envision the old manila folder, pop it open and you've got your tabs. That's what electronic medical records were built and have been um, have been designed to do. If you're dealing with populations, there are special tools for that. Well, Signal Health needs a tool that is uh, allows us to utilize the data that is currently being inputted and stored into these electronic medical records, but can come to us and then be acted upon and driven out to different uses for population health. And those just aren't embedded right today into electronic medical record systems. The choice to become a Z Omega customer and, and specifically um, begin the project for a health information exchange uh, came about two years ago, two and a half years ago, and we recognized that we needed to open up those electronic medical records, and so we needed to bridge them or hub them in some way. So we started um, doing our, you know, our background work and um, looking into different products and different options, and there were quite a few out on the market, but the reason that we chose the Z Omega uh, product is because what it does with the data that it receives is accumulate and and aggregate that data into one picture of the patient. Uh, many of the health information exchanges on the market are simply document repositories or data repositories. So, so a physician would have to click into one document to see the encounter details, would have to click into another. The Z Omega Health Information Exchange brings all of the details, the data details together into one view of that patient.